Hello everybody, we are back with another edition of Flag Review. We are on number 10. I had no idea that this series was going to go this long, but I'm very happy that it did. Today we're going to be doing U.S. territory flags, plus a few others. I wanted to continue the U.S. state flag thing, but I can't really do that until Mississippi picks a new flag. And at the time I'm recording this... I don't know what it's going to be like when it comes out, but at the time I'm recording this, there is still no new flag. So we're doing this. U.S. territories plus a few others. For those of you who are new to Flag Review, Flag Review is not an educational series. It's more just uh, rating my visual reaction, like my gut reaction to these flags. So I don't want anybody being confused and thinking like, I'm grading these based on cultural significance or anything like that. No, I, I, I would, I don't think I'd ever feel justified in doing so. However, this is uh, one that I've been very excited about because U.S. territories are quite the mixed bag when it comes to flags, so this should be a good time. Let's get started with the first U.S. territory flag. American Samoa. This one is very interesting to look at. I would say out of any flag, any flag with a bird on it, I think this is probably the toughest bird I've seen on a flag. Like, you look at any other flag with a bird on it, I I think this bird could beat that bird up. That That's pretty much the best uh, <laughs> uh, thing I can say about that. Because honestly, the style of the bird doesn't exactly do it for me, but I kind of like the aggression. Uh, it, it's it's kind of cool. Um, as far as the base design goes, everything that it's built upon, it's definitely unique. You only you don't see a lot of flags like this. We we got this rectangle with a triangle inside of a triangle, going over like, but going sideways across a rectangle. That's actually pretty unique and I don't necessarily mind the fact that it's asymmetrical I I, th I think it looks pretty good and the color choice is not too bad I'm wondering if it would have been better to uh, break up the blue and red with white rather than have white be the center but the white is a really good base for the bird to sit on so I kind of like it there are little objections here, but I'm not even sure exactly how I would correct it. It's not like a, a, an uh, amazing flag, but it's a pretty good flag, uh, considering uh, that it breaks some of my conventional rules from what I like. I'm willing to give this one a 3, maybe a little bit more, maybe a 3.25. Um... I think I like it a little bit more than the U.S. flag. It, it's not as busy, and it really uh, communicates the deal r real easily. It, it doesn't have too much, so having kind of a little bit of a complicated picture with an eagle is a little bit easier to pull off. Uh, I, I don't mind that. I think that one's pretty good. Next flag. Okay, here we have Guam. Uh, Guam is often forgotten uh, by American citizens. It, it's unfortunate because uh, uh, it, it's, it really looks like a beautiful place. However, the flag does not. Uh, it looks like it was kind of designed by the people who did the uh, Liberian County flags. Maybe on a good day. Um, let me... Yeah, there, there's just something about the red that I don't like. Like, it's slightly different from the the red that you see on the American Samoa flag. I, I just had to compare the two. There's something about it. It maybe it has. It looks like it has, like, a little bit more pink in it. I, I'm not sure what that is. Um, and, it, of course, it has to be taken down a notch or two because it says the name of the place it's from on the flag itself. That's always a negative. Uh, if you have to tell me where this is, the flag's not iconic enough. However, we have uh, we have an interesting picture here. And I get what it's supposed to be, but it's so... Uh, it's, it doesn't 
have the detail to justify so much going on in the picture, I guess. Um, I wouldn't mind it having very simple colors and not a lot of shading if they were going for a more simple image, but they have a lot going on there. And I don't really care for that either. Honestly, the Guam flag is not doing it for me at all. And that's a shame, because I wanted to like this one. Um, this one's like a... This one's like a one for me, honestly. I, I, I really don't think I'm a fan. Next, we have... Uh, this one is not really a territory. It's a military base, but it's included amongst the territories on Wikipedia, so I included it. Uh, Guantanamo Bay, the military base. So, I get... And it was hard to find a high-resolution picture of this flag. I, I, I was kind of surprised. I, I had to shop around a little bit, and this was kind of the best one I could get. <laughs> We got, uh, of course, this little n naval seal looking thing we got going on and, and uh, seals on flags, just the way that this is done. It doesn't, I don't think it translates very well to a flag. Um, of course, it has uh, its name, not just its name on the flag, uh, the Guantanamo Bay thing, but it also has Cuba's name on it. And it also has like a whole bunch of lettering on it, which... Normally for a flag, does not do a whole lot for me. I, I'm i not really a fan of any of these factors, and yet you put them all together and it doesn't really speak to me that well. I, I know it's hard to judge this uh, flag by the same standards as the others because it has an entirely different purpose. However, I'm still going to have to give it a low rating. Um... I'm looking at it next to Guam. Is it better or worse than Guam? So, visually, like when it does like a picture or something, and it does like the pictures of the trees, and it has Cuba on there, honestly, it looks a little bit better than the picture thing on here. However, the overall presentation of this, I think, is worse than the Guam flag. Um, but not by much. I would give it like a 0.9. It's like a point one difference between the two. They both have some serious issues here. And if you put one above the other, I probably wouldn't disagree with you either way. If you gave this one a one and this one a point nine, I I, I wouldn't even question your rationale. I, I would I would say, okay, that makes sense. Next, uh, we got the Northern Mariana Islands. And this one This one is kinda nice to look at. Let me look at it compared to the American Samoa one. Yeah, like, both those flags, they're very crisp looking, and I, I, I kind of enjoy that. Um, when I use the word crisp, I, I think this star is a very good indicator of what I mean by that. Except, the star seems like, stylistically, it's very different from everything going on behind it. That's one of the things. If the star blended a little bit better, I might be able to forgive the fact that the image on it is a little bit more complicated. Because I like simplicity on my flags, but it is very pretty, and I can give it a little bit of credit there. Um, but overall, I, I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it. I'm, I'm going to take a look at American Samoa one more time. This one... It's very clear what I what it's supposed to be. I, I get it. This one, I, it's kind of on a similar level. I think I'd put it at like a three, maybe. I, I'm not sure. I, I really, I want to like this one. It, it does, it is very nice to look at. And if I ever end up seeing it again, I, I'll be like, oh, it's, it's that flag. Because it does have a memorable thing to it. Um, I'm going to give this one a three. I think I like the American Samoa one more as a flag. I think the picture on this one is better, but I think the other one just translates to a flag a little bit better. This is really good, though. I, I actually like a lot of elements of this one. So let's check out the next flag. Puerto Rico. I'm very excited about this one. Puerto Rico is, of course... Uh, kind of a play on the U.S. flag, obviously. There's a lot of flags that do this. You can talk about the Liberian, not the county flags, but the Liberian country flag. Uh, you can talk about the Texas 
flag, which we've not, I don't think, yeah, we've not gotten around to in flag review yet, so I'm going to leave that one alone. However, I will say this much. It does not get the point for originality or creativity or whatever, but it is probably one of my favorite interpretations on the U.S. flag. Like, when you have any flag that is clearly emulating the U.S. flag, I think this is one of my favorites to do so. Uh, one of the issues with the U.S. flag is that there's just too many stripes. I understand the symbolism. Uh, nobody gets that more than I do. However, um, the necessity for it takes away from the visual a little bit. I kind of like that it's taken down to five stripes here. That's, a f that's far more simple. And it reduces the number of stars, which is also uh, very nice and makes it a little less busy. And I am a firm believer in side triangles on flags. I am a firm believer in that. Um, while I am very anti-corner square, I am very pro-side triangle. Um, yeah, I like this one. It's a, it's a very good version of the u.s flag i can't give it a five because it is kind of just taken from the u.s flag there's a certain creativity factor that has to go into these five star flags but i'm willing to give it a four point two five it's that it's that point seventy five that is just like lacking in the creativity there i really like this flag though it, it is a very good version. Um, it does have some factors that I really... Like that 0.25 of creativity that I give it. Like that, and Normally it would be a 4. It's got that 0.25 because I really do like uh, the triangle layout. I like how the, uh, the um, amount of stripes makes it kind of symmetrical if you were to hang it vertically. I think there are... There was some uh, thought put into this design so i can't completely take away from the creativity i like it puerto rico's a really really nice flag i think the u.s state flags could learn a little bit from the territories if you're not going to be good at least be uh fun to look at because this this is fun to look at this okay it, but yeah okay maybe i'm maybe i'm not right but american samoa looks good <laughs> um next flag the u.s virgin islands okay yeah, clearly the American Samoa flag, the bird on that flag could beat up this bird. We get that much. Um, this flag feels like kind of a formality. It doesn't feel like it has anything like that speaks to me all that much. I don't, I don't, I don't know what went into this flag. It's got the little crest shield looking thing, which you know. On its own is fine, but I uh, those things on flags don't really work that well. The bird looks, the bird looks okay. Like nothing on the flag looks particularly bad. It's kind of just got a dullness to it, you know. Just ev everything about it has a little bit of dullness. So I gave Puerto Rico a four point one, and I gave this one like a three point one. So I guess I'll give the U.S. Virgin Islands a. I don't even want to give it a two. I want to give it a, I'll give it like a 1.75. There's just, there's just nothing for me here. It, it doesn't give me any reaction, really. I feel very indifferent to the flag. And indifference would normally mean like, I could take it or leave it. But indifference in the case of a flag is kind of a negative. Um, I would rather have a negative reaction, honestly, to a flag than feel absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, that's how I feel about it. Okay, here we're getting a little bit away from the territories here, but I wanted to include the District of Columbia here because, um, I don't know where else I would put it. Maybe I'd put it amongst the state things, even though it's not officially a state at this point, but it might be one day. Um, so it's minimalistic as far as, uh, the color scheme goes, um... It's symmetrical, at least uh, 
horizontally it's symmetrical it's got that going for it i i do like a lot of things about this um if you were to i i'm i'm thinking about the stars being on top and uh something in my head wants to take the stars and put it in the middle like spread out these two lines and place the stars in the middle but i don't know if that is that too is that too normal is that something that like everybody thought about and was like uh that, that seems like such an obvious thing to do that would be kind of boring i don't hate the district of columbia flag it's it's simple i don't know what i could give it for creativity or any sort of feeling um but it's like a rather inoffensive flag um my bird just pooped i guess i should uh get a move on with this um i think i'll give the district of columbia a three kind of for just being inoffensive not really uh not really all that special but it doesn't really have anything too bad about it it's a very safe flag there there's those flags that end up being safe i would put it in a similar category to like three vertical stripes of colors that complement each other like yeah it, it's rather simple but i can't really take away from it because it does work there are cases where flags lack creativity um uh, like like this one here it I, it does there's nothing that feels particularly creative here um but it seems like it has a little bit more visually but like I, I think this one just comes together a little bit better. Like, the other one had a lot of stuff to throw in. This one was able to execute it a little better. At least, uh, that's my opinion. Next flag. Okay, here we're getting into a few unofficial flags. Um, for all these little areas that come after this, uh, I believe all their official flags are technically the U.S. Uh, national flag. But they do have these unofficial flags, which is pretty cool. Um, I like things about this flag. I like... It's Johnston Atoll. I don't even know how to say that one. Um, I like the blue and white. And I think the yellow goes well with both the blue they chose and the white they chose. Obviously, not a fan of lettering on flags. That has never been my thing, especially when it's the place. Uh, you're writing the name of the place on the flag. Um, however, I like this little eagle thing they have going on. It's a very creative way to do an eagle on a flag. Um, they, they didn't have to make it super obvious, but I know that that is an eagle. However, I don't know if I like how the beak... Uh, kind of gets a little too close and gets in the business of these stars here. Honestly, I don't even think you need the stars if you have that cool little eagle there. Um, there are some things that could make a very good flag here. I will admit that much. However, I think there is some execution issues here. Obviously, the Johnson Atoll thing, that usually would take off like 1.5 and I, I just think these are not laid out together very well. I don't mind the four diagonal stars. I, uh, I think the eagle is actually pretty cool. But together, they don't really do anything for me. And the color scheme's good. Um, I'd give this a 2.5. Go back to the drawing board, and you, can, you could probably come back with something pretty darn good. Uh, you have all the tools. You have all the tools for... A pretty cool, distinct flag. Next, we have Navassa Island. Do I even have to say that this reminds me very much of the Liberian County flags? I guess you, when you draw something, and it's all a single color. And uh, I've talked about simplicity with color schemes, but sometimes when you're trying to draw a picture, um, you need to do a little bit more, because then it'll end up looking like a child's drawing otherwise. It's got half of it being blue, half of it uh, being white, and this little picture of what appears to be an island. Uh, so it's a picture of what I assume is the place that we're talking about here, the Navassa Island, which I don't know much about, personally. Um, if anybody 
watching is from Navassa Island, hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know you're here. Um, but I highly doubt that. Um, yeah, this is this can't be more than a one. But like, how much below a one would it end up being? Um, let me think. I gave the these two pretty low grades. Is it worse? I think it's worse than Guam. I think it might be worse than the Guantanamo one. I I I'm really not a fan of the style of the Guantanamo one, but some person could end up giving that one a much higher grade than I gave it. So maybe I was a little rough on it. Now that I see this, I think this one's like a a 0.5. Just not a fan of this style of flag. I've seen flags like this before. They just don't work for me. Next. Okay, Palmyra Alt. <laughs> My words. A uh, Palmyra Atoll. This flag has some good elements. We've got a. Uh, uh, this this is a theme that I've seen in flags before. It's got the the yellow at the bottom, which I assume represents a beach. We got the blue, which represents water, and then the red sky for the uh, what I assume is a, a a sunset. But the sun hasn't set as much as some other interpretations of this do. A lot of the times, it's like the sun is halfway down, but this is a little less than halfway. Um, my objection isn't really to this, because uh, I've kind of warmed up a little bit more to the idea. I think the color scheme is not very good. I understand they're trying to draw a picture here, but I think the color scheme makes it all kind of um, a little harsh to the eye. There, there, There's no break. I like to have neutral colors breaking up these... Uh, these very strong prominent colors and with what they're trying to do it doesn't really work that well um i believe i've seen another flag that had this same sc color scheme uh and i just couldn't be as friendly to it because the color scheme takes away from each individual color like all these colors together are just too much and none of the colors pop the way they're supposed to because it's all very overwhelming but it's not it's not the worst sort of flag. Let me look compared to this one. I give this one a 2.5. I, I think I like this one a little bit more. I, I'll give this one a 2. It, I think it has very good intentions. And uh, I get what it's going for. I just... Just the way it's executed just hits the eye in a, a not so favorable way. So let's see, do we have any more? Oh, I believe this is the last one. Yeah, we got Wake Island. And remember, these last few are all uh, from Johnston Atoll, Navassa Island, Palmyra, and Wake Island. These are all unofficial. So I'm not even really going after their flag. Um, Wake Island. This is uh this guy this has some stuff going for it. Um, I've talked about the Puerto Rican flag being kind of an interpretation on the U.S. flag, and uh, this is kind of doing a similar thing. This is a little bit like Texas, it's just a little bit more going on, and um, that doesn't always help it. I kind of appreciate that it tried to do something different by having the uh, the little side rectangle actually go out a little bit into like a, a pentagon which i i think is actually pretty cool and i'd give it some uh credit for that one um i think that wake island has some good stuff going for it the yellow it might be a little too much it's one extra color they don't really need um and it has the name of the place on it and i'm not sure what this is if this is like a an outline of what the island looks like. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it on a map, but uh, or at least not close up. Um, yeah, there there's some good intentions here. I'll I'll give it a two and say like if they could correct some of the stuff going on here in the blue, they'd have something really good going for them. Uh, I really do. I, I'm warming up even more to like this Pentagon thing they got going on. More and more, the longer I uh, I look at it. So, yeah, there, there, there are good elements here. Well, so that's U.S. territories plus some other things. I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Flag Review. I think it was fun. Um, 
yeah, I, I, I really I really liked these. I'd love to check out some more uh, flags that don't get enough love. And uh, let's give some credit to the MVP of today, Puerto Rico. You, you did the U.S. flag right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. So if you guys have any flags you want me to check out in future episodes, leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next edition of Flag Review. But before then... Um, Hey, Bird, you want to join me for the outro? Uh, but before then, I'll be seeing you every single day with more uh, things, more, more other videos. Every day. Every day. Every day.